the release date for Super Dragon Mario Heroes episode 50, aka Ultra God Mission Promotional Anime Episode 10, will debut on August the 24th, 2023. And it seems like it's going to be more to this story than just the Mika being destroyed and Ultra Instinct Goku versus a Time Patroller Xano Super Saiyan 4 Limits Broken Goku fighting. And looks like a fake Goku fighting a real Goku. There's a pretty big rumor going around that Ozato, the main antagonist for the new arc in Super Dragon Ball Heroes labeled the Meteor Mission, that he shapeshifted into Xano Goku and either attacking or sparring with Capsule Court version of Goku in Ultra Instinct. Videos back, I explained that this guy can metamorph himself. In short term, shape shift. He can shape shift into anybody he wants to. Along with that, he can copy the abilities of that person. According to the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Guidebook, there's a photo in there that shows Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Xano Goku. And in the background, you can see Majin Ozato there. So according to this, many people are speculating that the Xano Goku that's going to be fighting Capsule Corp Goku at the end of this upcoming episode is not really going to be Xano Goku. It's going to be Majin Ozato who shape shifted into him. Okay, so that will lead to a whole bunch of other questions. It will be a nice introduction into the next art because it, it has a lot to do with Ozato anyway. That will leave other questions like, okay, if he shape shifted into Xano Goku, then where is the real Xano Goku? Did he capture him like he did with flags from the whole universe mission arc involving hearts? Did he by some chance know that Xano Goku was far away and that he knew he can go ahead and chase shift into him without anybody really detecting it? And another thing, wouldn't they be able to sense somebody else's energy or would he be able to copy that energy signature as well? I mean, it is Super Dragon Ball Heroes, but we got to put some type of Dragon Ball logic into there. Everybody puts an energy signature. Could he have shape shifted into Xano Goku just to test out Ultra Instinct Goku's true power? If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. I post everything that's involving Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Super to Super Dragon Ball Heroes to the new web series that's rumored to be coming out in any Dragon Ball movie that comes out. So if you enjoy what you're hearing, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And yeah, let's continue. Like I mentioned in another video I did about a deep dive into who Majin Ozato was. He has never really been in the anime continuity. In other words, he has not been in Z, he has not been in Super, he has not been in any major or should i say known dragon ball franchise he was indeed created by akira toriyama it was basically for a dragon ball game that pretty much none of us has ever played dragon ball z vr vs and he pretty much was the big boss at the end and that's where we get the shape shifting from that's how we knew that he can shape shift of course, he did appear in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga as well as the arcade mission. That's pretty much it and where it stands for right now. I will go ahead and link the other video that pretty much explains all of the history between the manga and the arcade game of what Majin Ozato has been doing throughout Super Dragon Ball Heroes because he has indeed been up to things and he's very strategic about what he's doing if he doesn't have to fight then he won't fight and he will see his way up out of there he has a lot of abilities and in this video i will explain everything he's capable of that we know so far don't forget to like subscribe turn on those post notifications that way you can be reminded every time i post a new video and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one now we also know that margin ozato can shape shift can morph himself into anybody and use the powers as if he is that person. When the trailer it looks like he came to the planet Earth and everybody can feel its presence, including the Supreme God Time. Question is, why has he come back now? 
he's made a pretty big entrance let me know what you think his objective is leave a like subscribe comment and i'll see you guys in the next video